Welcome back here. All new tonight is six. People have gotten into the restaurant business for a variety of reasons, of course, but this one might just take the cake. Tonight, Channel 2's Dave McKinley has the story of a newly crowned cook literally frying for his freedom. We're here tonight at the newest restaurant to open in Niagara Falls with a story behind it, the likes of which I guarantee you have never heard before. Viewers might remember Demetrius Nix from his run for mayor of this city last year, but that race pales in comparison to the one he's in now. You know, either I get the money or I go to prison. My life, this is how my life has always been. It's always been rough. 23 years ago, as a 14-year-old living on the street, surviving hand-to-mouth, he shot and killed a man. He claimed in self-defense. He ended up going to prison for manslaughter. You know, the front page of the paper that day said, Kid, I mean, a couple, uh, a couple days later, said kids who kill, and they had a picture of me and made me out to be this big menace like my life would never be nothing. Upon his release, he put these hands to use, renovating his grandfather's rundown home. Spent four years doing that, then people started asking me to work on their houses. That turned into Nick's construction and property management. But last year, he was accused of going into a home here on Pierce Avenue where he'd been doing work for a developer he claimed owed him money and busting the place up. But I did break everything that I fixed because he didn't pay me for it, and then I got charged for it. Nix eventually accepted a plea deal, saying it was the best thing to do for his family. But to avoid being sent back to prison, he needs to come up with $32,000 in restitution. He has one month left to do it. He's never cooked before. He says he had to learn to fry on the fly, using recipes handed down by his grandmother, all while still trying to keep up the contracting business. So I don't open here to two because in the morning I got a lot of contracts I got to do. I have worked 19 hour days. But there's no guarantee that even if he makes the restitution that he won't have to serve time in the county jail. But even if that happens, I have started a business that my family will get that will still employ 10 people even if I go to jail. The headlines about him are much different these days. The support of the city is pouring out. And not just from customers. The person that owned the fryers from the previous restaurant here told Nix to take his time in paying for them. The building owner is letting him operate for the first month rent free. So it was, I was able to walk in here with no money. All you had to buy was the chef hat. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the guy whose stuff he admitted to busting up, well, even he's telling the court that as long as Demetrius makes a reasonable amount of restitution, he's willing to take the rest later. Let him keep going and don't send him to jail. On your side in Niagara Falls, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.